This sound file contains the spoken word version of a Wikipedia article on Virgin Galactic. It is recorded by user S. Whistler, and the material was recorded on the 8th of May, 2012. Virgin Galactic, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Virgin Galactic Virgin Galactic is a company within Richard Branson's Virgin Group which plans to provide suborbital space flights to space tourists, suborbital launches for space science missions, and orbital launches of small satellites. Further, in the future, Virgin Galactic hopes to offer orbital human space flights as well. Virgin Galactic spacecraft are launched from a large aeroplane, giving the spacecraft more initial speed and altitude than if it were launched from the ground. Contents 1. Mothership 2. Spacecraft 3. The Spaceship Company 4. Competition 5. Fleet 6. Base 7. Corporate 8. Commencement of space flights. 9. Collaboration with NASA. Mothership. The White Knight 1 and White Knight 2 are special aeroplanes functioning as mothership and launch platform for the spacecraft Spaceship 1 and Spaceship 2, respectively. The motherships are large, fixed winged aircraft. They have two hulls linked together by a central wing. Spacecraft. Overview of the spacecraft flights. It is planned that the spacecraft will be robust and affordable enough to take paying passengers $200,000 per person with a $20,000 deposit as of September 2011. There are around 500 ticket holders in line to fly with Virgin Galactic. Notable passengers that have already submitted their deposit include Tom Hanks, Ashton Kutcher, Katy Perry, Brad Pitt, and Angelina Jolie. The aircraft is projected to be a six-passenger, two-pilot craft. Its planned trajectory will overlap the Earth's atmosphere at 70,000 feet, 21,000 meters, which will make it a suborbital journey with a short period of weightlessness. The spacecraft, Spaceship 2, will be carried to about 16 kilometers, or 52,000 feet, by a carrier aircraft, White Knight 2. At that point, when the carrier aircraft reaches its maximum height, the Spaceship 2 vehicle will separate and continue to over 100 kilometers, the Kármán line, a common definition of where space begins. The time from liftoff of the White Knight booster carrying Spaceship 2 until the touchdown of Spaceship 2 after the suborbital flight will be about two and a half hours. The suborbital flight itself will only be a small fraction of that time. The weightlessness will last approximately six minutes. Passengers will be able to release themselves from their seats during these six minutes and float around the cabin. In addition to the suborbital passenger business, Virgin Galactic will market Spaceship 2 for suborbital flight space science missions and market White Knight 2 for small satellite launch services. They had planned to imitate RFPs for the satellite business in early 2010. However, flights have not materialized as of 2012. Spaceship 2 flies to a height of 110 kilometers, going beyond the defined boundary of space, 100 kilometers, and lengthening the experience of weightlessness for its passengers. The spacecraft reaches a top speed of 2,500 miles per hour, current than faster fighter jets. It has double the crew and can carry triple the number of passengers of its predecessor. In honor of the science fiction series Star Trek, the first two ships are named after the fictional starships Enterprise and Voyager. To re-enter the atmosphere, Spaceship 2 folds its wings up and returns them to the original position for an unpowered descent flight back to the runway. The craft has a very limited cross-range capability, and until other planned spaceports are built worldwide, it has to land in the area it started. Further spaceports are planned in Dubai and elsewhere, with the intention that the space line will have a worldwide availability and commodity in the future. Spaceship 2 Sir Richard Branson unveiled the rocket plane on Monday the 7th of December 2009. Spaceship 2 was presented to the world in the Mojave Desert in California. 
The vehicle underwent testing during the following 18 months before being allowed to take ticketed individuals on short hop trips just above the atmosphere. Sir Richard Branson, who heads the Virgin Group, intends to run the first flights out of New Mexico before extending operations around the globe. Built from lightweight carbon composite materials and powered by a hybrid rocket motor, Spaceship Two is based on the Ansari X Prize winning Spaceship One concept, a rocket plane that is lifted initially by a carrier vehicle before blasting skywards. Spaceship One became the world's first private spaceship with a series of high altitude flights in 2004. Its successor, however, is twice as large, measuring 18 meters, 60 foot, in length. And whereas Spaceship One only had a single pilot, and the ballast equivalent of two passengers, Spaceship Two will have a crew of two and room for six passengers. More than 400 individuals are reported to have signed up for a flight as of early 2011. Each is paying $200,000 pounds, for the privilege of experiencing approximately six minutes of weightlessness during what will be a two-hour end-to-end flight. Many of those future astronauts have attended the VIP unveiling at the Mojave Air and Spaceport. Former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson christened the space liner Virgin Spaceship Enterprise. The New Mexico authorities are investing almost $200 million, £221 million, in a purpose-built facility in Sierra County, New Mexico, Spaceport America. It will have a 3,000-meter, 10,000-foot runway and a suitably space-age terminal and hangar building designed by Foster and Partners. Sir Richard Branson's Galactic Enterprise will have competitors, but he is almost certain to be the first to market, barring any problems arising in the test campaign. Spaceship Two's carrier plane is called White Knight Two. It was finished last year and has already begun its own trials. The spaceship company, TSC, is a new aerospace production company founded by Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Group and Scaled Composites, which is building a fleet of commercial spaceships and launch aircraft with the intention of making widespread space travel a reality. TSC's initial launch customer is Virgin Galactic, which has contracted to purchase five Spaceship Twos and two White Knight Twos. To meet Virgin Galactic's requirements, TSC have contracted scaled composites to develop and build prototypes of White Knight 2 and Spaceship 2, of which TSC started full-scale production in 2008. Competition There are numerous other companies actively working on commercial passenger suborbital spaceflight. Additionally, there are several others developing commercial manned orbital spaceflight capability, including some which are initially designed for, or may eventually be used for, commercial passenger spaceflight, which is a significantly more difficult problem than suborbital spaceflight. Fleet As of 2008, Virgin Galactic is planning to have a fleet of two White Knight II motherships and five or more Spaceship II tourist suborbital spacecraft. White Knight II carrier aircraft, Virgin motherships, number one, VMS Eve, number two, VMS Spirit of Steve Fawcett. Spaceship II suborbital aircraft, Virgin spaceships, number one, VSS Enterprise, number two, VSS Voyager, numbers 3, 4, and 5 have not yet been named. Base Test launches are planned to take place from the Mojave spaceport where Scaled Composites is constructing the spacecraft. Virgin Galactic expects that initial passenger flights will take place there as well. An international architectural competition was held for the design of Virgin Galactic's operating base, Spaceport America, in New Mexico. The contract was awarded to URS and Foster and Partner Architects. Upon the completion of the spaceport, flight operations will transfer from the California desert to new bases. Virgin Galactic also announced on the 3rd of April 2008 that in the future they will operate in Europe out of spaceport Sweden. 
Will Whitehorn said in an interview with Space.co.uk on the 29th of April 2008 that the company was considering flying from a UK base, RAF Lossiemouth in Scotland, during the summer months only. There are also rumours that the base could be located in RAF Macrehanash, Campbelltown, Scotland, or an unnamed location in southwest England. In October 2010, the company held an event at Spaceport America, where it ceremoniously opened the first runway. New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson attended the ceremony and Spaceship Two, also known as VSS Enterprise, was landed during the event. For the landing, the VSS Enterprise was carried underneath the fuselage of Virgin Galactic's mothership, EVE. Corporate Virgin Galactic's typeface was custom-designed for the venture in 2006 by Dalton Marg and GBH. It is called the Eleven font. David McKay, former RAF test pilot, was, in 2011, named chief pilot for Virgin Galactic, as well as in-house chief test pilot. The first line pilot, and second test pilot, was hired in 2011 for Virgin Galactic, Keith Colmer, former USAF test pilot. He will also work in the test program with scaled composites. Commencement of Space Flights Will Whitehorn, until recently president of Virgin Galactic, stated that the company would not put a definite timeline on when the commercial flights would begin, but that all was on track with its development plans, and that if all goes to plan, the inaugural suborbital flight should happen within two years of June 2009. Referring to the projected schedule in October 2009, Virgin Galactic has continued to decline to announce a firm schedule for commercial flights, but it did reiterate that initial flights would take place from Spaceport America. Commercial availability will be based on a safety-driven schedule, which they hope to achieve within two years. In 2009, Scaled Composites President Doug Shane said that White Knight 2's first Spaceship 2 captive flights would be in early 2010. Both aircraft flew together in March 2010. On the 7th of December 2009, Spaceship 2 was unveiled at the Mojave Spaceport. By February 2010, Spaceship 2 had completed 15 test flights while attached to White Knight 2 and an additional 16 glide tests, the last of which took place in September 2011. Collaboration with NASA In February 2007, officials from Virgin and NASA signed a Memorandum of Understanding to explore the potential for collaboration.